going everybody? My name is Jordan. This is Anonymous Seconds Resale. Today we're just going to go over some uh, sold items that sold on eBay. Uh, you know, kind of the, the normal thing that everybody likes to do it seems like. Um, I love watching these videos. Um, it doesn't matter what it is. I like to see what's sold, what to look for, that type of thing. So that's what we're going to go over. Let's get into it. First up, we have a Green Bay Packers Vintage Tasmanian the Devil shirt. Um, this isn't like a great brand. It's by um, Justin, I think it's Justin Sportswear. Um, it wasn't nothing crazy. It sold for twenty-five dollars on Poshmark. As you can see, it's single stitch. It is vintage. Like I said, don't mind the hands. I got blue paint from work. Is what it is. That's that. Let's go to the next one. This one is a Duke Duke Blue Devils sweatshirt, Nike. Probably the main reason why I picked it up is because of that swoosh. It's amazing how just a swoosh will make you pick something up. But that sold for $24 free shipping. Next up is a Carhartt quarter zip sweatshirt. Anything Carhartt that has to do with the winter time is probably going to sell pretty good. I've always had really good um, luck with it. I mean, Carhartt's a great brand, especially for workwear. So, I always pick up anything. I don't even do sold comps on, on these types of things because I know it's going to be worth it. But this sold for $30 on Poshmark. Next up is also a Poshmark sale. And this is a Vineyard Vines Slim Fit Tucker shirt. For anybody that hasn't heard of Vineyard Vines, which I'm sure that's not very many people, this is a great brand to pick up. No matter what it is. I sold, I've sold hats. I've sold everything. Shorts. Shirts. Underwear? No, I'm just joking. Not underwear. Definitely, I don't think they make underwear. If they do, I don't think I'm gonna find that at Goodwill, but or any thrift store. But that sold for fifteen dollars on Poshmark. Once again, and I think this is the last Poshmark sale. This is the biggest seller today. A Tide racing jacket. It's got the number up there. I looked it up. It's Ricky Craven. Um, these racing jackets are always good sellers. No matter what um, what shape they're in, I sold a DeWalt racing jacket that was pretty, pretty, not really mangled, but it was real faded and kind of messed up. So, still sold that for like 40 bucks. I mean, these things sell really good. This sold for $95 on Poshmark, and I bought it for like $6 at the, at, uh, at the local thrift store. Not Goodwill, but it's called Neighborhood Relief. That's the one I bought it at. This sold on Goodwill. It's a Wolverine Sherpa lined full zip vest these things sell very well um, especially Sherpa line but work vest in general can the canvas material it's it, it always sells really well um, Carhartt sells the best obviously you can get a little bit more money out of it but this one didn't sell for too bad this one sold for $25 and I think yeah $7.99 shipping so not bad next up is a pair of these are these are a pair of shoes that you see you really need to look them over make sure they're good because you're going to be picking them up Allen Edmonds unless they're way overpriced always pick up Allen Edmonds that's probably it's probably one of the hottest shoes out right now um, these even have a little hole in the bottom um, I didn't even notice this when I bought them for some reason I looked right over that I picked them up I looked over them I don't know if I just did like a little thing like this where I just like seen that part but did not see that picked them up it's still sold for $25 plus shipping, which for having a hole in them, which the hole doesn't go all the way through, but it's still the first layer. $25 plus shipping, I'll take it. Next up is the Brookline Shoe. It's a vintage, the Brookline Shoe. This isn't a great brand or anything, but this style of shoe is kind of kind of cool. Uh, a lot of people seem to like it. Side zip, that's another thing, side zip shoe. Um, this sold for $20, $25, got that wrong, $30 free shipping. I took a best offer on these because I've had these for a while, but this type of shoe does sell pretty well. Next up, we have Cat's Pride, but it's a uh, Arctic Cat, which I think Arctic Cat got bought out by somebody. I can't remember who it was. I think it was... I don't know. I think it's one of them um, four-wheeler brands or something. Yamaha. Something like that. It doesn't matter. Anyways, 
as you can see, whoo, 2002. So, could have listed it as vintage, technically, but I had this up way before then. If I would have noticed that, it might have, because it just creates value when you put vintage in front of it. People, oh, vintage, yeah. But I didn't sell it as vintage, but it still sold for ten dollars um, with five twenty shipping. I bought four hats, not they're all different, but four hats for twenty five cents a piece at a garage sale. So garage sales are the best time of the year. If you're a reseller, garage sales are the best time of the year. The deals you can find garage sales is just amazing. Four hats for twenty five cents. That's the second to last one, and every one of them sold for at least ten dollars. So I'm gonna come up about forty bucks on those hats. So I'll take it. Next up is a Michigan Wolverines, and I am an Ohio State fan, but I'm a reseller also, and I'm going to pick this up if it's going to sell. $3, sold for, I think, $18 free shipping. It's very lightweight. It'll probably sell, or probably ship first class at one pound. If not, it's going to Michigan. I mean, whatever. Um, I think think I'm done. No, I'm not done. I got one more thing. It's a Rollins glove. Bobby Bonilla signatured. Not the real signature. It's just the signature series. Um, any Rollins glove that's signature series or any glove that's signature series, I usually pick them up. They usually sell for at least 20 bucks. That's exactly what this one sold for. It's even a youth glove. 20 bucks free shipping. Bought it for $1.99. It's uh, actually getting shipped here in Ohio, so once I ship it, they'll probably get it within like a day. It's not that far away. So I'll end up making 12 bucks or something like that on that glove. Uh, maybe not that much, but pretty close. 10 bucks. Anyways, I've probably been annoying enough. That's all I got. That's the sales. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. I'll take it. But thanks for watching. If you did like it, please leave a thumbs up. As anybody that watches YouTube knows, the thumbs up helps somebody get their videos out there and all that other stuff. Even though this is like my seventh video ever made, it's not that great. I, I get it. But but just, just go ahead and hit the thumbs up. That's all I'm asking. Thank you. Until next time, later.